these are the days when the weather is a little bit colder and the days are drearier. These are the days when we just need a little pick me up. So listen to me now. Today's show is that pick me up. We are celebrating the season. We're going to celebrate winter. We're going to get out in it. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to show you some fun things you can do indoors and out. And if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's because there's a party going on outside and I'm going to head out and join it. Please welcome Carson Arthur Lee. <laughs> about here. I need a little bit of fire so I actually show up to the outdoor party. <laughs> we all know how I feel about the outdoors, right? Okay, so Carson, you know how to get a fire going. <laughs> get a fire the going, The smell yes. of it is so good, but give us some tips. Well, it amazes me how many people don't know how to light a fire. Yeah. But before you light a fire, please check with your bylaws around your house yeah. to make sure you can have a fire in your property. Totally. All right, so there are two styles of fire, but yeah. they all basically start the exact same way, all okay. right? You always are going to start with newspaper. Yes. Okay? Newspaper, because it burns quick and fast, is what you're using to light the fire. Yeah. Now, people often will take a large group of newspaper and just bundle it up. Individual sheets works much better because you get more air in around the fire, okay? See. So you're gonna yeah. put down your newspaper, yeah. you're gonna reach it over here. I like to do two or three pieces like that. Doesn't yeah. have to look fancy. So you bundle it up, nice little wad like that. Next, you're gonna need cardboard or something that's going to create more heat around the wood. Yeah. Because if you try and go from newspaper right to wood, it it's not going to work. No. So like kindling, right? Kindling is good too, yeah. absolutely. But if you don't have kindling, everybody's got cardboard. Yeah. Just raid the recycling bin. Egg cards work fantastic. Nice. So I like to put them on top of the paper. Right. Now the next thing you've got to check out is the style of wood that you have. Okay. If you have skinnier pieces like this, yeah. you want to build a teepee style fire. If you have larger pieces like this, yeah. you're going to do a log cabin fire. Okay. okay. I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. Teepee style is really simple. It really just is. Putting wood together like this, yeah. balancing it all off, creating a vertical space yep. so that when the fire lights underneath, it starts coming up. It'll okay. Burn really quickly that way. Yes. Okay? This is how my dad taught me how to do it. Okay. Oh my God, you're so amazing. Yeah. Look, it's Dave. Yay. Okay. Because I right. got skills, girl. You got skills. <laughs> if you're going to do a log cabin style, yeah. want to help? Perfect. Yes, I do. Put it in. You're going to do a log cabin, so you're yeah. going to go like that. And you're going to alternate to this side. Oh, okay. okay. You're going to do like Jenga. And then like this, like oh, Jenga. Absolutely. What's going to happen my now language, is LA. you created a <laughs> chimney effect. So the fire will come up through the middle and get everything going. Amazing. Awesome. Both of those styles will work really well. Okay. The other thing, though, once you've got your fire going, is your seating. Yes. Now, obviously, the easy answer is pull out the lawn furniture. It's going to be great. Yeah. Big mistake. Oh. Furniture like the chair at the end, which is aluminum or metal, actually pulls heat away from the body. You it's actually get freezing. colder by sitting on a metal chair. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Wood, definitely the best, because wood does not conduct heat. Yeah. So you warm it up a little bit, but it doesn't pull the heat away from you. Plastic, heavy duty like this, also good, works just like wood. But if you get the lightweight plastic, yeah. A big guy like me, sitting on that in the cold, I shift a little bit, leg breaks, down I go. You can have a drinking game around that because it could happen easily. The other thing that you want to pay attention to are blankets and pillows. Yes. Now obviously people are wrapping up in the blankets, getting nice and warm, but the truth is the blankets are even better behind you. Okay. When you're sitting facing a fire, all the heat is here, right? Yeah. Your back actually gets cold. Yeah. So having it wrapped around your back and then bringing it forward is much better. That makes sense. Right? Just like that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah. nice. You have to share it. Yeah. It's like fun. <laughs> Can you picture them as a married couple Play fighting nice. over the blankets? Play bed? nice! Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. Also, adding pillows is a good idea. Now, yeah. you can bring in pillows from inside at this point, okay? Because it's okay. not wet, they're not going to get the fungus and mold building up inside. Right. Feather pillows work better. Down pillows are actually better for retaining the heat behind your back so you oh. don't get as cold. Okay. Perfect Just like solution. Jackets, Just right? like jackets, yeah. absolutely. That's down right. filled jackets. And one other thing that you want to remember, I'm going to find it here. Digging, digging, digging. Is that a lighter? No, it's a flask. <laughs> this is not your good thing. This is not your friend, everybody. It's not your friend? Alcohol actually lowers your body temperature. So instead of booze around the fire, go for carbohydrates. I was not <laughs> expecting that. Right? What if we heat up the booze? Even is still, it thins the blood. You get colder. So oh, what if we have bread carbs, with carbs, the carbs, booze? Carbs. Bread with booze will work. Absolutely. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, there's one thing that, um, and we all know that I don't love being outside in the cold, but there's one thing that we do at the
with the family and that's take the kids to a cabana soup so we can make the maple uh, syrup toffee yeah. and that's what we're gonna do right now right ready let's go do it so I love that you've set this little this little, uh, little ice bar, bar here. up outside it's Ooh. beautiful Look at that. It's not that hard to do, is it? No, it's really not hard to do if you have a candy thermometer. Okay. If you don't have a candy thermometer, which I never use that kind of stuff because I don't know. Because <laughs> you're a professional. I don't know. I try. I don't know. I just like the bubbles. I always like making sauces or anything else. It's about bubbles. You take a look inside here. Yeah. You see the bubbles are gigantic, right? Nice. That's what we're after. We're going to reduce the maple syrup down about half. And we want that, that temperature to get to about 238 degrees. Yep, and just tip see that over a bit foamy, so you can get those bubbles. Beautiful, start with a pure maple syrup or this will never work. Nice. And then are you ready for this? I'm ready, I'm ready. Now the secret, you have yeah. to let it hit the snow and sit in the snow for like, I'm gonna say 10 seconds. And okay. then you start at one end and roll it out. You ready? Oh, okay, all right. Right. Look at this. Well, yeah. that's a big one. That's okay. All right. Let it sit for 10 Let it stay. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. You want, once you start that one, I'll start this one here. And then oh, you see this? You just roll oh. it up on your thing like this. Stay. Stay. Right? Stay. And now you have this perfect, beautiful maple oh, syrup nice. coffee. Oh. Uh, mm. Mm. You get that pull. Mmm. I can't talk. It's fucking your teeth. You're gonna wrestle with it. You really want to stay warm. Just hit your body with a bunch of sugar. Oh, you'll yeah. be running around, you'll be doing all kinds of creative stuff. But look at how easy this is to do just with like a patch of snow. Mm -hmm. You can totally do this outside and get your guests to help out, right? Absolutely. You get the kids in here, they'll come in, they'll roll it up. You won't I be able to go it. back to that fire because you'll be so busy. Now before you get to the lollipops, you might yep. need like some real sustenance. Mm -hmm. We got some food trucks out here mm. and the LA is going to give us a bit of a tour of what we got. Starting with... <laughs> but like this just isn't any old poutine. This like is next level. Look at I'm looking at bacon. This oh, looks you, Asian inspired. You don't even know what you're looking at. Yeah, you're looking at so much packed deliciousness. And I actually just want to point out that yeah. Smokes has made all of these in their wow size. If you lift this Huge. up, that is very wow. And That's definitely enough food to warm you up. For a family of four. Or <laughs> me on a very hungry day. Or me. <laughs> yes, exactly. No sharing today. No. So we know the classic poutine. Yes. Which is delicious and yes. really a Canadian staple. But it's so hearty, which I think is the perfect type of meal in the winter Absolutely. and especially if you're going to be enjoying it outside yeah. when you pour that steaming gravy on you eat it it's like a hug in your tummy really this looks like it's still hot it, it, it is hot and that's the thing too because there's so much packed in there it retains its heat so nicely oh, but right. then if you really want to mix it up for your party you're going to mix up the toppings mm -hmm. so smokes has created three of their really kind of out there interesting combos but I am so like I just can't wait for the cameras to turn off so we can start eating and <laughs> chewing <laughs> what is that so this one they all have have great names and I don't want to mess this one up. This is Katie Cool and the Buffalo Ranch Gang. <laughs> and this one has uh, chicken, buffalo chicken. There are Doritos, uh -huh. ranch Doritos what? crumbled on there as well. But then underneath is still all of your classic poutine. So you still have the gravy. You still have oh. the cheese curds. This one, this one I am so excited about. It's actually sweet and spicy cauliflower. Oh. So you want to have a little bit of balance and vegetarian. That's you feel amazing. good about yourself. You know, there's still, again, the cheese. There's still <laughs> the there's a vegetable in there. Amazing. Right? And then this last one. Bacon. Psycho circus poutine because not it. just bacon also popcorn popcorn ah mm -hmm. it's okay sweet and spicy these the are amazing mm -hmm. now that we've had some dinner i feel like we got to have some dessert Desserts. because yes. this is actually what i start with <laughs> I like the sweet, and we all know I love the sweet. And I love that we've got uh, Eva's chimneys with us right now. Exactly. So please explain what these are for those who don't know. So these are a traditional Hungarian pastry. Yeah. And a lot of times you see them served in the summertime filled with ice cream. Before so, we actually go any further, yeah. can I grab one of these with chocolate, please? <laughs> You're a Nutella Thank you, fan, Kristen. Right? I love you. All about the Nutella. Yes. And that's actually what's on the first one here. So 
Um, Evis has done these great ones for the winter, so not filled with ice cream. Instead, they're coated on the inside with your favorite toppings, oh. and the combinations are so delicious. So the first one, Nutella and coconut. Yep. Then they even do a marshmallow and graham cracker, Ooh. so it's like a s'more. Uh, and then you've got everything from peanut butter and chocolate, freeze-dried, oh, thank you so much. Amazing. This one's actually freeze-dried raspberry, oh. and then almost like a traditional cinnamon roll. But what I love too, I don't know if you can see, but as they're served, they actually are smoking like a chimney. Oh, the steam coming up, good. so they're nice and toasty. Like, I just kind of want to cuddle this right oh. now. Oh.